Hi everyone. This is a very rare Rainbow D3A. I don't know if the D3As were very low production and they switched to the D3C um, or why they're just so rare and you don't see these. Um, just like the D3C, um, this caddy is optional and extra. But it has your normal attachments on, just like you know you would with any rainbow. You do the hoses for it. These look like some newer hoses. Got the one for the floor brush. Got the jar sprayer for it. Um, this unit runs extremely well. Uh, when I got it. It was very close to me, and I didn't realize it was even a D3A. This is actually the only D3A I've ever owned, whereas most of my rainbows, I've had multiples of all of them. Uh, it was super cheap, and it was local. It was maybe 15 minutes away, so I just went and bought it for the hell of it, and then I realized it was actually a D3A. And what makes it a D3A is it'll show you on the tag, but you actually have a three pin connector like the D2 rainbows. And the power nozzle, I believe. Yeah, well, it was a little different. I think um, the power nozzle did not have the um, air valves in the front that you could open and close for different piles of carpet. Let's try and show you the tag on this. I don't know. I can see the serial number. I don't know. Can't, can't really see where it says the D3A. It's not showing up. But it is a D3A, nevertheless. Now, I don't have the original power nozzle. And this power nozzle puzzles me to this day yet because I've never seen one like it. It's done in like a yellow gold color. It's basically, I mean, it, it looks like it's very, I don't, I don't know if this is actually was made by Rainbow because this power nozzle doesn't really fit with anyone. Like if they just made a generic one like an upgrade kit or um, you know I don't know what they really did here or if it is an aftermarket one but I've never really seen an aftermarket one like this you know normally it's they just retrofit like another power nozzle with a pigtail connector for rainbow um, but it has this has the air vents just like um, your D3C and all the way up to your D4SE had. Um, it has the spot, you know, for the little rainbow, uh, like emblem. It has the same exact like circuit breaker, same little pilot light, uses the same wand. So, I mean, as far as I know, this would have been made by Rainbow, but I could be wrong. It doesn't really have doesn't have any sticker or anything to really say if it was or not. And and you know the base plate's the same as you know what the originals would have had. Um, now this either this was just because it was a newer you know, it was aftermarket or whatever, or they replaced the brush roll. This is obviously not 
a genuine rainbow brush roll that I know of that's not, wouldn't have been genuine for the period, for this vacuum at least. And it obviously, it seems like this was much newer than the power nozzle that would have been with this vacuum. So maybe their power nozzle went bad, or maybe they never had one and bought this later. You know, maybe they added carpet or wanted something to clean their carpet better. You never know. I wish I knew more about this. But I've never seen a power nozzle like this. So that's interesting in and of itself. I mean, it works great because, I mean, it's pretty much new. It doesn't look like it was hardly ever used at all. But um, it has the standard two-pin pigtail connector, not the three-pin. It has, has a little adapter on here to convert the two pin to a three pin. I guess you just don't have a middle, which would probably just be a ground. But the power nozzle works great. And this rainbow is in good shape. I paid well under a hundred bucks for this rainbow. And with it being so close and not knowing it was a D3A, I mean, it was a steal just to get it. It's a very unique rainbow with it being a D3A and having this weird power nozzle with it. Um, the vacuum cleans wonderful. The motors run very smoothly in it. Got your normal rainbow manual. Oops, I don't drop it. Model R1650A, and you can see in the picture that the original one would have not had the air bleed um, thing for a thicker pile of carpets. It, that did not have that. You can see the it did have a pigtail there. It was very much you know, all reminiscent of what you would have gotten with a D2 with the cable setup. I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe.